Hi everybody, it's me, Sissy, back with a Dollar Tree haul, some friend mail, and I want to tell you about the fun I had yesterday. Me and my son got to go to the state, the South Carolina State Fair. My sister came over and stayed with Mama so that we could go, and we had a really good time. We got to look at all the exhibits and the animals and the food, and I <clears throat> walk around and just get out in the sunshine. And we actually found a vendor there that um, was selling sweet things, and she had keto cake. So I got to have a little bit of fair food. Um, and bless her heart, it, it was it was okay. <laughs> it wasn't the best thing I've ever had, but at you know, at least somebody's trying. So uh, more vendors, get out there, have some keto stuff. You could really sell a lot of it. But uh, anyway, the best thing about this, or well, two good things about the fair. They had a petting zoo, and I'm a sucker for little animals and everything, and I got to go pet the baby goats. I love baby goats, and they had a llama. They had two llamas. I got to pet the llama and feed the llama, so I was just thrilled to death. And they had a vendor selling um, homemade goat milk soap, so I got some goat milk soap. It's from the Fresh and Fancy, Fresh and Fancy from the Farm. I got Honeysuckle goat milk soap and um it smells so good and this is great for eczema and um, problem skin and then i got my son this black walnut foaming goat milk soap that's for um acne because he has um we both had terrible i had terrible acne as a teenager but it's kind of cleared up as i've gotten older but he's 30 now oh my gosh he's 30 now he still gets breakouts so um i got that for him but um uh, it was a great little company and uh they have uh, all their stuff is organic and stuff and they have a website and i'll put a link to it down there but um i was excited to see that because i'm a sucker for goats and soap so but anyway that was my fun day yesterday and then today i got to have fun going to the dollar tree and i've got a bunch of stuff to show you so let's get right to it stay tuned at the end i got some friend mail okay so i found some more of these cute little i need coffee signs i got two of those i love those they're so cute <clears throat> and i found this cute little plain white soap dish art trinket tray whichever one you want to use it for and then I got these cute white plates, the plate and the saucer. Um, those are really cute. And they're, they're good hard plastic. They're not flimsy. And they're kind of lightweight. And I got two of the glass candle holders. I finally got these back in. In fact, they got a bunch of them. And I was so excited. My friend that's the manager at the Dollar Tree in the next town was telling me that Thursday morning they're getting a truck in. I'm supposed to have red truck stuff on it so i thought so well, i'll be here thursday she said don't come thursday got to unload the truck so i said i'll be there friday so anyway i got that to look forward to but they did have some craft stuff in they got the little miniature christmas tree so i got some of the green ones and some of the white ones because christmas is coming and i want to get started on my diys for that and i got some of the crafter square um paint brushes the dollar trees that i go to still don't have the wonderful big craft aisle like i've been seeing everybody having but hopefully it's coming hope it's coming but and then i got the crafter square the glitter the little tubes of glitter now they have some that are in little bags too little bags in a thing um if you look at it this is actually a better value there's more glitter in here for the same price so and uh, and this is in no order i just got the stuff all thrown in the bags i picked up some cilantro these are good spices um they might not be as strong as the ones you get at Walmart or somewhere else like that, but they're they're good. And um, I've never used a whole container of spice in my life before it went bad. So, well, I'm going to want to pay seven dollars for it and then use a tablespoon to have to throw it away. But, and then I got some more glitter. So I got a DIY coming up if it works. And I picked up some more of the Rubbermaid Take Along storage containers. These are great for meal prep or to store things in your pantry or your refrigerator and I like the square ones much better than the round ones because you can squeeze more in the round ones leaves too much space that's not used and I don't like that <laughs> and I got some of the Eileen's tacky glue and here's my one of my favorite things I found I found the little red tro truck dashing through the snow tote that's so cute and the farm fresh Christmas trees now they had another one that was blue that had snowflakes on it, but I didn't get that one. I'm going to use these 
like when I give my cookies at Christmas, I can package them up and put them in here and give this as a gift basket. So I went ahead and grabbed four of those because I know they're good. next time I go there won't be any. And they'll be looking at me like, we don't know what you're talking about. We don't have any. <clears throat> then I got this cute little Christmas tree. And it's hard to see, but it says Joy, Noel, Peace, Believe, and Christmas on it. And it's got a star, and it's got glitter on everything, but I'm going to see if I can fix that up a little bit. So, And I got another reindeer. This is for a DIY that I'm trying to get to work, but y'all just hold on. It's, it's, it's working, I think. And I got another one of the little Christmas trees. So. And then I got one candle holder tea light candle holder this there's a set of not a set but there's three different sizes and the three together look really good I wish they would have one taller so you could do one tall one and then graduate down that would be so pretty but they don't so but I did get one that's for a DIY it's just the right height for what I need uh, now we can I'm gonna show you some of my friend mail I'm not gonna save it till the end because I'm actually got this cute no drama llama bag my friend Sharon, I don't, Sharon, I can't say your last name. I'm sorry. I know if I try to say it, I'm going to mess it up. So, Sharon, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I love this bag. And I did take it to Dollar Tree and fill it up, but then I, I probably needed three more bags. <laughs> but anyway, she sent me that. And she sent me these really cute, um, I don't know if she, I think she sent these. Yeah, it's a little snow globe sticker to go on the wall I think it's a snow globe but anyway it's got a llama on it it's really cute I don't know if you can see the little picture of there what it looks like but that's really cute and then I got this be cool llama sticker so I'm just all llama out y'all I just I'm so happy with the llama stuff I don't know why I'm just crazy about llamas but I think they're so cute but anyway, thank you, Sharon. I love the bag. And it was so sweet. She sent me a card. Here. Oh, here's my card. With your cute little puppy on it. Look at it. It kind of looks like my peanut a little bit. But she said she saw this bag and thought about me. And she loves watching my videos. And I'm so, so excited that you like them. I, I hope they're... There, I hope everybody likes them, and I hope they get something out of it. At least know that you don't have to be perfect to have a YouTube channel. You don't have to be perfect to do crafts. You can just get in there and try. That's the most important thing. And have some fun. Everybody should have fun. So, And oh, then I got a few more little craft things in here. Let me pull those out. I found some more of the little wooden snowflakes. I love these. I'm going to use these on my um, gifts this year for tags. And I did find two of the little wooden cutout trucks. So I'm going to see what I can do with those. Some kind of DIY. Maybe a wreath. Maybe. And then I found this cute little ceramic word. It says made in China. It just says decor. Oh, it's Greenbri Greenbrier International. But it says faith. I got this for my friend um, at work. He's a... a he works with us, but he's a pastor also, so I got that to go in his office. I thought that would be cute. I'm going to sneak it in his office and put it on top of his file cabinet see if he notices it. And then I got two more of the little red truck Christmas ornaments. This one's kind of messed up. But um, these are really nice, but just when you get them, take a good look at them because some of them are kind of messy, but they can be fixed. So I got to just take the glue off and glue it back and be a little bit neater. And then I found this blue head wrap. Oh, who's this by Greenbrier? Yeah, this is a Greenbrier product. But um, yeah, I'm kind of wearing my hair pulled back a little bit now. It's growing out. And I'm not ready to go get another haircut. So, um, and then I found one of the witch hat wreath forms. But to me, this is not a witch hat. This is going to be a Christmas tree somehow or another. Or it could be an ice cream cone. <laughs> or it could be anything. But. Uh, it could be a hammer. I don't know. But I'm going to make it a Christmas tree somehow. But anyway, stay tuned for that. I might get it this Christmas. It might be next Christmas. But hopefully it'll be this Christmas. And then I picked up my son some of the Ultramax 3-in-1 Arm & Hammer body wash and stuff. He likes that. And it smells really good. And of course, my favorite toilet bowl cleaner, Lime Away. This is great. It can get out those stubborn stains. And my favorite, Fabuloso. 
and I got one of these little containers so I can mix up some salad dressing in it. You know, I do the keto thing, and I know that I really probably ought to be making my own so I cut out the bad oils and stuff, but y'all, I can't make mayonnaise. I don't have time for that. I have so much other to do, but when I do buy my ranch dressing, which I dearly love ranch, I take the, the, the ranch. I'm gonna, I fill it up halfway with ranch dressing, and then I put half um, apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. Um, I love the apple cider vinegar and I like it tangy and that mixes up and then the, the dressing is not so thick and it's pourable and it has half the carbs of what the bottle stuff have. So I figure I'm doing better than if I just had the bottled ranch dressing. So anyway, that's that works for me. I can, I can live with that. So that's what I'm going to do. And I got some of the Lysol Clean and Fresh. This is, it says it's concentrated and makes five gallons. So that's great. I love to just damp mop my floor with that. And it makes your whole house smell like it's clean. And then I picked up some aspirin. So you can't beat that all. What is this? 125 aspirin for a dollar. So that's a great deal. So that's it, y'all. That's all my Dollar Tree stuff for this week. Um, and again, Sharon, I just love this bag. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm just going to carry all kind of stuff in it. But anyway, get out there, go shop and make some stuff. And remember to have fun. That's the most important thing because dirty dishes will be there tomorrow. But you might not get another chance to have fun. But anyway, y'all have a great day. Your mama says hi. She's not feeling good today. She's laying down. But um, she she was a little, she got to spend yesterday with my sister. And um, she, my sister said she did really good. She, um... She got up and ate and was very talkative. Um, today she was a little bit wound up, you know, because any kind of change in her schedule kind of mixes her up a little bit. But uh, hopefully she'll be back and I can get her on camera and get her to talk to y'all. But anyway, y'all have a great day. Love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.